Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Uh, today we will be sharing a little bit on earth fault protection detection methods. Huh? So, typically here we have about six methods. Huh? The first is on the residual, residual connection. Number two will be on the relay connected at the neutral to ground circuit. Third, core balance scheme. You may call it core balance current transformer or the zero current, zero sequence current transformer. Number four is frame leakage arranged for detecting earth fault online. Number five will be circulating current differential protection or normally known as restricted earth fault. And number six, uh, this is not typically called uh, as a fault detection method, but we normally use it for ground fault, neutral, displacement, over voltage, which can also detect line to ground or line to line to ground earth fault uh, for ungrounded system and high resistive system. So we we'll go to the number one. So this is the first one, which is uh, residual connection. Yeah. So this is one of the most uh, type of uh, uh, fault detection method that is being used throughout the industry, which is residually connected CTs. So in this case here, it's, shown, it's showing you a three-phase, three-wire system. So you have your red, yellow, and blue, A, B, C. So at this point here, this star point here is going to be your residual connection. So the summation of all three phase, when it's balanced, there's no earth fault, there'll be no current flowing through the earth fault relay. Line. So when there's any one of the line, uh, 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 line to ground fault, so there will be a residual or spillover current going through the earth fault relay. Line. So this is what we call as a residual connection or summation by summation which is they sums it sums up uh, the total current by the city by the city, by the three phase cities uh. so this is for a three wire system uh. so this is for a, a four wire system so normally you will have uh, also three the three phase red yellow and blue plus the fourth wire which is your neutral so this is typically typical in the LV system. So if you are using a residual connection for your LV system, you, you must make sure that the neutral must also have a CT. Uh, if there's no CT for your neutral, then if you have a lot of single phase loads for your uh, in your LV system, uh, the single phase loads will not cancel out each other and it will give you a, a misreading of the neutral current because it doesn't cancel out each other. So your, your relay may trigger on a fault. Uh, but that is a false a fault tripping. Uh. So for a four wire system, you must remember you must have at least four CTs. Red, yellow, blue plus the neutral. For three wire, it will be three CTs. Uh, red, yellow and blue. Uh, the connection is still the same. It's still residual connection. So it will sum up the red, uh, uh, for example, red phase, yellow phase and blue phase plus the neutral. So under normal condition, the summation of this uh, current will be zero. Lah. So when there's an when there's a zero current, zero cu sequence current, or when there's an fault, there will be a spillover or a residual current going through this ground fault relay. Okay. So that is the first type of uh, fault detection lah, using summation CTs or residual connection. Lah. So the second part is uh, much more straightforward. So a fault using transformer neutral earth connection or you normally call it as a standby earth fault. So standby earth fault because it is used as a backup protection but it can also become your main protection. If you don't have a residual connection for example like this one in your, at your breaker so you may use this one as your primary protection. What's good about this connection, this uh, 
uh, a fault connection at, at the transformer or generator star point is that this a fault will on, also cover the a fault at the winding lah, uh, between your transformer to your breaker or between your generator to your breaker for this case the a fault only covers anything downstream to to this lah. so normally these cities are located at the circuit breaker so this residual connection cities they can only read a fault that happens downstream of these cities so from this breaker to the upstream which is your transformer secondary winding or your generator star point this uh, summation city will not be able because the fault is before the city uh, but for the standby fault connection this city will be able to not only see fault downstream of your circuit breaker but any a fault from your winding of the generator or your transformer to the downstream breaker so that's good uh, but if you are using this uh, a fault you must make sure that this a fault relay must strip your primary uh, for primary circuit for the transformer there's no use stripping on the secondary only because the fault, a fault will still be there at the secondary side Okay, so this is what we call as a standby fault. So the city is located between the star point to ground connection. So this is a star point to the ground connection. So this is for a three phase. Eh? Uh, this is for a uh, also three phase system. Eh? Three phase for, uh, system. Eh? But this one is for a system with a neutral adding resistor. If this is an LV, there will be one, uh, one more neutral uh, cable going out. Eh? But the, the location of the city is still between the star point to the ground. Okay. So that is the second part, standby a fault. Eh? So your city is detecting the fault by locating the city at your star point to ground connection. Number three is we are using the zero current, zero sequence city or core balance city or Z city lah. so this is a core balance current transformer lah. so I will not dwell too much on the concept so just uh, in a simple layman's uh, explanation uh, each of this uh, core will produce its own magnetic flux so under normal condition the summation or the action of all these three magnetic flux will cancel out each other lah because it is 120 degrees apart uh, and so on lah. So when there's one of the cable is having ground fault, so the the current will not be equal, and so the magnetic flux strength of one of the phase will not be equal. So the summation of the magnetic flux will not be zero. So when the summation of the magnetic flux is not zero, it will induce some current in the core balance city or your Z city lah. So that current, if uh, it's high enough, will trigger the a fault delay lah. so it's a very simple concept lah of the Z city lah, or core balance city eh. so if you're using for a three wire system all three wires must go through the Z city if you're using this for a LV system for wire and the single phase load make sure that the neutral also goes through the Z city or the core balance city okay so this is a theory lah. Uh, you guys can read up I'm giving these uh, notes uh, in the link of this uh, YouTube description, you can download it there. Uh, just uh, an, an additional note for core balance city for high voltage connection. Eh? So this is a typical termination for a three core uh, cable termination for high voltage. So if you, you all notice, this is the cable breakout. Eh? So normally the cable breakout is made of a semiconductor semiconductive uh, material which is uh, conductive lah. and this uh, part here is also a grounded part uh, you can see here uh, number four adding connection passing through five so this semiconductor or uh, the official term is a cable breakout but for jointers they, nom they normally call it a condom, uh, condom <laughs> for the break for the cable termination uh. so this part will be earth uh, so you must make sure that this adding must return back through the core balance city uh, because 
Here we have our armut here, our armut of the cable or the copper, screen copper tape of the cable is also going out here. So if there's any fault, a fault, the a fault current will go through the semi, go through the co, uh, screen copper tape or your armut. So it can be misread by your component city lah. So when you take out, bring out this uh, earning connection passing through five. So you make sure that the earth fault current will not be measured by your covalent city lah. But the earth fault current is still be measured, but it should not be measuring the earth fault flowing through your copper tape or through your armut. That's why we need this to to be brought out lah, so that it will cancel out each other lah. If not, there can be some uh, misreading by the covalent city uh, because it could be an earth fault somewhere. Uh, not on this cable, but since all the earning is interconnected, so this can be a path for an fault, not due to this cable, but due to some other uh, ground fault in the system. Lah. Uh, and this can cause a mal reading of the ground fault by this common city. So once you bring this out, uh, you know that uh, uh, the fault uh, in the copper tape or in the armor is cancelled out by each other. Lah. Okay. So that is number three, application for core balance city with cable termination join. Lah. So this is the third way of uh, detecting a fault, which is using core balance city or zero sequence current transformer. Okay. Number four, number four, uh, I've never seen one before, but maybe you guys have seen this uh, in actual uh, use. So we have here a switch gear system, a metal clad switch gear, and it is provided with a frame leakage protection. So the switch gear is slightly insulated from the earth. Eh? So what it means here is that your switch gear is sort of floating from earth. Eh? So there's no direct connection from the frame going directly to the earning grid. So that is what it is meant by lightly insulated from the earth. Eh? So it is actually earth through one single point so there is uh, one cable adding there's adding bus connected connecting the switch gear going to the grid but through a single point only lah so at this single point uh, entry of the adding to the switch gear there is there will be a CT to measure any fault current so when there's any fault at this switch gear for example there's any fault from the cable or from the MCC are going or even in the internally of the switch gear so all all this metal clad switch gear will be uh, experiencing a fault lah. so where does this fault flow so it will have to it will have uh, it will have to flow from the frame through this cable and to the grid uh, through this single point exit so this city will be able to measure that a fault current and it will trigger a fault lah to trip the incoming breaker or whatnot lah. so I've never seen this uh, in actual uh, use, but if you do, please do share in our comment here. Okay, so that's, but the, it must be slightly insulated lah, so that this cable connection for the earning becomes the primary path for the earth fault. So that's number four, frame leakage protection. Okay, number five, circulating current differential protection also responds to a fault within its protected zone or easy to call is restricted a fault lah, or uh, ANSI number 64 lah. so under normal condition uh, an application of the Kirchhoff law the sum of the current in both cities will be zero IR plus IY plus IB plus IN IE here will be zero lah. so these cities the the cities will be looking to the winding and also the city will be looking to the winding. So when you install the city, it's very important that uh, the polarity is correct. Uh, make sure that the polarity is looking towards the winding. Same goes for here. Lah. For example, if this side here is P1, P2, here it will be P1, P2. Lah. Uh, so that uh, the, the summation will be zero. Lah. Under normal condition, if there's any fault external, these cities will also read as a fault and this city will also read that a fault. But due to the polarity is in opposite direction, 
So that effort will cancel each other. For effort outside of this zone, lah. For example, downstream of this uh, breaker. Uh, but if there's any effort within the zone, at the winding or at the cable here, so this CT will not read any current because the effort is here. But the CT will read the effort current, so the summation will not be zero. Lah. It is still uh, similar to a residual connection, uh, but it is restricted by the zone, lah, which is between these two sets of cities. Lah. So, so, okay. So, if you look here, these three city summation is actually a residual connection for the earth fault of this uh, three phase three wire, lah. and this city here is same like a earth fault connection for standby fault between your start point to the ground. So this is a three wire connection, three uh, for HV system. Eh? Or else for the LV system, there is an additional CT. Eh? Must not be forgotten. Eh? Okay, must not be forgotten. Because most of the time when these vendors, eh, even uh, switchboard, switchgear, OEM, they forget about this neutral CT when proposing for LV switchboard. Because in the, typically in the, uh, relay protection relay manual it only shows you for a high voltage three wire system so they don't show you how is the connection for a three phase four wire system so they just follow exactly what is being uh, said in the manual so there's no neutrality lah. so if you have single phase loads on your LV system and there's no neutrality for you to cancel each other so your REF may be triggered lah. Uh, if the your single phase loads are very high lah. okay so miss for lv system if you're using ref for your star uh, star connection lv system for wire you must make sure at the switch gear side there is four cities to measure the effort of at the switch gear side and another neutral city to measure the effort and it will compare between these two two effort whether it is within the zone or outside the zone of this uh, ref protection lah. so this is ref lah. So another uh, method of detecting a fault, okay? So this is uh, also a form of uh, differential uh, protection, uh. okay? And last but not least, uh, this is uh, residual over voltage, uh, or ground fault over voltage. And C number is 59N. So it's normally used in ungrounded electrical system or high resistance grounding, uh. High resistance grounding typically near the uh, at the generator with a step up transformer, lah. okay? So the generator grounding. So we will see, lah. so let's see eh, what is meant by ungrounded electrical system or high resistance grounding. Eh? So we go to the picture first. So this is a uh, ungrounded typical system. For example, this source is coming from your delta winding of a transformer. So obviously your secondary delta winding is not grounded. So all your three phase three wire here is not grounded. So you will install here a PT, a special PT lah. The primary side of the PT or the voltage transformer is star connected. While the secondary side is an open delta connection. Uh, so that open delta connection will be connected to the uh, ground fault over voltage relay lah, or neutral displacement over voltage relay. So there will be one resistor across that open delta uh, and this 59N will be the relay coil. Lah. So under normal condition, if there's no a fault, your voltage uh, red, yellow and blue is balanced. Lah. For example, let's say this is 11 kV. Lah. So you will measure here 6.35 kV, 6.35 kV, 6.35 kV. So by Kirchhoff law or for voltage, when you sum up V1 plus V2 plus V3 under normal condition, the zero sequence voltage will be zero. Eh? Zero sequence voltage will be zero. But if there's any effort, so one of the phase voltage would have some drop in the voltage lah, or almost zero. So the zero sequence voltage at the secondary PT in the open delta winding will not be zero. So there will be a current flow flowing through the resistor and that current times the resistance will have some voltage across this resistor. And if it's big enough, uh, according to the setting of the over voltage relay 15 n it will trigger the over voltage neutral displacement protection. 
So this is another method of measuring or uh, earth fault in an isolated or ungrounded system. Lah. Okay, same goes for here. Eh? So this is the same ungrounded system. So the the other part is the ground fault. It is also used for high resistance grounding over voltage protection. Lah. Uh, so ground fault over voltage protection. Eh? So normally it is used for generator lah. For a generator with a step up transformer or a generator lah with high resistance. Eh? So this over voltage uh, ground fault over voltage protection it can detect ground faults near very near ge the generator lah. So normally at the terminal or within the winding of the generator. Uh, layman term, eh? how does it work? So under normal condition when there's no fault at the winding or near the generator terminal, the voltage Summation of the VA, VB, VC will produce a zero sequence voltage lah, which is zero. Uh, let's say there's a terminal, uh, one of the terminal voltage, the generator terminal has have, is experiencing a single phase to ground short, or you have a one of the winding is experiencing uh, a line to ground fault. So there will be a voltage. Induce and uh, not induce, produce between the start point to the ground. So when there's a voltage across here, there will be some current flowing through, and this voltage will be stepped down by this uh, PT. So this and will induce some current and will trigger the 59N or the uh, neutral displacement over voltage lah, ground fault over voltage. You must make sure that uh, the setting must be high enough so that. Some, because sometimes there'll be some unbalance on your system. Uh, because not, not your, your system might not be necessarily a balanced three load. Uh, sorry, it's not, may not be necessarily a balanced three phase load. Uh, so your, your voltage VA, VB, VC might vary between a few percent to five percent. So you must make sure that the neutral displacement of voltage setting is catered to not trip due to the unbalanced condition lah, which is not fault but it's just an unbalanced condition due to your loading or something like that lah. okay so this is the sixth uh, method of detecting a ground fault lah. so ground fault voltage for a high resistance grounding normally used for generator with a step up transformer or a generator with high resistance and it is used to protect the uh, fault at the wind at the uh, generator winding up to 90-95% while the another method uh, another protection is used for ungrounded system if this is coming from a delta connection of your secondary transformer secondary side of your transformer lah. okay so if you think this material is good please share this material to your electrical friends uh, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kraksofie, and then my Facebook page. Please uh, like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Kraksofie. And if you have any other questions, please throw, uh, throw them in the comments below, or you can email me directly lah at kraksofie at gmail.com. Thank you. Huh?